Hello and welcome to Mr. Hodge's channel. Uh, I'm Mr. Hodge. I'll be your host if you haven't picked up on that yet. Um, today I wanted to revisit this idea of the power of proximal uh, development. I, I've done other videos explaining it, but I think it's a really valuable um, asset and tool that we have in our greater scheme of life and how we can accomplish things. So I want to review it a little bit more in that context. So let's go through it again, uh, just for a second. What is the, the zone of proximal development? So that's a zone. Um, so there's actually three zones and the zone of proximal development is this middle one. All right. And how that works is when you're doing a task, okay, let's say you're fixing your daughter's bike. Okay. If you've done it a lot and it's super easy, you could do it in your sleep. It is too easy for you. You haven't learned or gained anything from that task. That doesn't mean it's not an important task. I'm not saying don't do it, but it means that if we're trying to learn or improve or grow um, as a person, then it's it, we're not going to achieve anything in this task. It's too easy at that point. Likewise, if we're um, fixing an engine in a car and we've never done that before, that might be beyond our zone of proximal development. It might be too much of a challenge for us to overcome. There's too much we don't know. There's too many skills we're developing. It's too much out of our range. Um, and that might, it might be physically out of our range. It might be knowledge-based out of our range. It could just be that it's too demanding emotionally on us. And it's, it's not something that we can be successful in at this moment. So what do we have here? This is the zone, okay? The zone. So what is the zone? The zone is the area of a, um, it's, it's, it's not an actual area, but it's it's a task or a project or an assignment where we're learning and growing and and the, the toughness or the challenge is perfectly sized for what we're able to achieve to learn and grow and be successful and prepare ourselves for the next. Um, so maybe uh, we're putting a smaller bike engine on our daughter's bike so that she can, you know, motor to school. And we've worked enough on bikes to have a good working on bikes. It's not a huge engine, so it's not too bad. And we're, we have enough that we can learn and grow and develop ourselves as human beings and not get frustrated and, and be successful. That is the zone. Now, it's important to note that the zone increases. So if we have a list of tasks, okay, right here, the zone itself will change. So maybe at first, you know, this is green, uh, actually, huh. I was hoping to erase that. Anyways, let's say that your zone is right here. Okay. But then you work on a project, you learn things, that zone might move up here. And then this would now all be green. Right, you've learned and developed. It's now too easy for you when you're out of your zone, right? And so as we move forward, it jumps. It keeps jumping and jumping and jumping, right? We learn, we develop, we grow, and we repeat that process. So it's cyclical in the sense that we go back to this spot of learning and growing, learning and growing, but it's um, not in the sense that we're building on the task, right? We're getting better, better, and better, and better. And if we're not, then we can, you know, it causes problems. We can get resentful. We can get bored. We can get a whole bunch of problematic issues occur when we're stuck in this zone, you know. Um, so we need to be careful what zone we're in and what it means. All right. So how is this useful? Well, it's useful for each of our goals. So we start with a goal, whether that's, you know, I want to bike a, a huge bike task. Maybe I want to get a better job. I want to be a manager. I want to be a business owner. And we can lay out our goals and say, that's where I want to be. But I can't now because I don't have the skill set or the knowledge base. So we can back up the steps until we're in our zone, realizing what our zone of ability is. And then we can say, well, what do I need to do? Maybe I need to go to college and get some courses. Maybe I need to work with a mentor. Maybe I need to push myself to the next level because I've been waiting in an area that's too easy for me and I need to achieve something a little bit more difficult, okay? So that's why it's extremely useful. It helps us to grow as human beings and be our most 
uh, our best self to be to have our best potential and to reach uh, new heights and new goals as a society. And, and those goals can be varied, right? They might be social, right? They might be environmental. They might be a whole bunch of things. But we, we can reach them better if we, um, we are able to utilize what we know and use the knowledge of what we don't know effectively. Okay? So don't forget, your power and success in using this is, is based on two other things. All right? One is accountability, your ability to keep yourself in tune with what you're doing. And if you need help with that, please watch my other video on goal setting. Um, it's either out now or it will be coming out shortly. Um, and that'll help you, right? We need to keep ourselves accountable in order to keep pushing ourselves to be best and better and better and better, right? Otherwise, we just get stuck in this hamster wheel and we stay there and we get more and more resentful of ourselves and of others who are being successful around us and grit okay it will take work you're gonna get things wrong you could get hurt you're putting yourself in a position of risk because the reward is going to be worth it will it always be risky no will you always be like super hurt or put back no right but it could happen and you need to be able to allow yourself to power through it and find strength um, in your goal and in getting to achieve your goal and don't forget, you have support, okay? We have doctors, we have mentors, we have family, we have friends that are there to support us when we find times are tough or when we find things aren't working. All right, perfect. So um, that's all for me today. Good luck on uh, reaching your goals uh, in harnessing the power of proximal zone and proximal development. And I'll talk to you later.